Item number MZL 1950 Security Level 1 Containment Class Keter Disruption Class Dark List Class Critical Manzu Specifications Due to the boring nature of all the work being done at MZL 1915, Protocol E67 Don't Go There has been enacted. No staff other than those assigned to MTF B00 Accounting Department are to go anywhere near MZL 1915. Once that described a man zoo? MZL 1915. Here's the third floor of the office building in downtown Seattle, Washington. It is the building where our staff does all the paperwork we now have to deal with. Additionals 1915-1 Creation Log During a meeting in MCO 1730 in Overbubble 1's office, MCO 1915 was established. Office of the Overbubble Console In attendance, over bubble one, MDF Lambda Nine, hello, Mister's leader, Mister Lost. Mister Lost did not end up attending. MZO three twenty two director, Jeffrey Quincy Harrison the third, formerly SCP fifty five ninety five. Director of Body Recycling, Doctor Plague, formerly SCP zero forty nine. Director of Digital Torture, Dr. Victor R. Farmer, formerly SCP-5045-1. MCL 1915 Director, Mr. Stanley Crow, formerly SCP-1915. Hello, everyone. I've called this meeting to talk about new ways you all have to come up with for torturing our dear guests. Hmm, I'd actually like to start with uh, talking about about the bird. Torture methods! Anyone got new torture methods? I've been busy in the fields. My farms had never been this full. We've expanded the pastures to hold even more of our new friends. About that, I was meaning to talk to you, Dr. Farmer. Your MCO is using way too much power. The electricity bills coming from your MCO are way over your quota. Who then fired this spoil sport? I made ohms for over 3,000 goats. Who, if I might add, are having an absolutely delightful time with some of my more high-tech gadgets. Power bills are just some silly numbers. We've been hamaging our cash supply ever since the FCK class scenario. The Foundation have a substantial reserve of cash in case of emergency, but we went through that within a week because of Director Harrison's insane amount of redecorating at MCO322. My finishing had made MCO322 the best MCO of them all. I will not have a creature incapable of containing any sweet confections criticize my accounting skills, let alone my redecorating powers. I was not insulting your MCL's aesthetic. I'm saying the amount you have spent on making even the cells pristine is unsustainable. It's recklessly high, fetching on actively malicious towards the MCO at large. I do not care what other MCOs think. You will make sure my MCO is supplied with the requested amount of cash. If it must cost a leak to falter, so be it. Why do you even make that sounds fancy in the first place? We're trying to torture them. Yes, torture. Can we be back on track here? Does anyone actually have new ideas for torture methods? I've successfully kept the mod completely empty with state-of-the-art revival methods. By state the art you mean the stupid old-fashioned surgery? It's an art. It works, so who cares? Me, how can I get it through your thick skulls? We are out of money! There's nothing left! Plague over here keeps bringing all these people back. I had planned in the budget around the fact we would cycle through the bodies. But no! Dr. Place got a man around reviving them all and filling up every MCO we've got. We don't have infinite resources. It's not all fun and flaying. 
can this higher level of pain on this higher capacity of subjects is expensive. What did Dr. Dunn over here? It's fine. Just do your little numbery things and get us out of this. Heck, our staff can destroy your universe. How hard can getting more power be? Back in the Foundation days, they had tons of front companies that were not just there to use in the capture of all of us, but also make actual money. There's not much money to be made now that all of those businesses are a single chain of man sapping locations. To the credit, we have gotten a lot of new victims by folks just walking into the stores, but still, we need income. The only income we need is my incoming gum to your face. Director Harrison, Rams to Mr. Crow. All present except Mr. Crow laugh hysterically. Come on, that hurt. It also wasn't that funny. I may not be the best judge, seeing that I spent my day surrounded by only my lovely goats. But there was some pretty good wordplay, especially coming from the dog. What did you say about me? I will have you know, I am not a boat. All of my boats are in the exact right places. I haven't said anything in a while, and I think that's atrocious. And What? Do you have anything to actually say? No, I just thought it was worth noting. <sighs> We've been at this meeting for almost an hour, and not a single new torture method has been brought up. I'm at the end of my rope made of human intros here. Stanley, could you shut up about our stupid budget for one second and tell me even a single torture idea? I will if you give me an office space to work in. Fine! Don't we still have that whole floor of a building in Seattle empty? Go to start and uh, get out of our hair. If we need some more help, go from an empty up accountants or something stupid like that. Wait, really? This is so exciting. I gotta leave to get all the new MTF members on the payroll. That's my weekend plan. And make sure they attend the training seminars. Big plans. What's happened? Why are you excited now? Weren't you super stressed about this? That's before I had an entire group behind me. With them dealing with all the burn staff relations and records, I can focus on my real passion, work. Oh, the joys of paperwork. <laughs>